Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it is Friday night cake of the week, but today we're not doing cake, we're doing pie. And I'm going to take sweet potato pie to the next level. Y'all already know how my glazed sweet potatoes, you know the secret ingredient here, butterscotch. So everybody was saying, can they use it in the pie? You know, I never use it in the pie. I always use it in the regular sweet potato. You know, it to butterscotch, what it does, something I came up with years ago. Y'all heard this before. Something to make the sweet potato just explode. And this is what I come up with. If y'all know, everybody after they use it, say that's the best thing, invention in the world. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to add it to my sweet potato pie. Take it to the next level. So, yeah, it's going to be old school pie of the week this week, y'all. So, y'all know sweet potato pie, very simple, very easy. And just, you can't get no old school or no southern and sweet potato pie. Another thing, y'all know I bake my sweet potatoes. I don't boil them in water. You already know when you boil sweet potatoes in water, it boils all the sweetness out of it. It boils all the color out of it. So, you bake it in the skin to enhance the sweetness of the potato and preserve the color. So, you have a nice and sweet potato pie. So, let's get started on this one, y'all. Very simple, very easy. And I want to get a shout out to Melanie G. She sent me this bowl, y'all. Y'all remember I busted my bowl about a month, almost a month and a half ago. I cracked it. I had to go to Williamson on my back order. It's still on back order. And she found one. She heard me say it, and she found one, and she mailed it to me. So, Melanie, I got my bowl back. I appreciate that. My glass bowl. It really help y'all when y'all uh, see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna get the sweet potatoes going here. Put them in here. I'm gonna get them mixed up, and it's very simple, y'all. I got my pie crust already, already part baked, and I'm doubling this recipe, y'all. If you see me putting a lot of stuff in here, it's because I'm doing two kinds of recipes. So one of these pies is gonna travel around the corner one of my neighbors. She loves sweet potato pie. So when I, every time I make one, I make two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I like to get my potatoes mixed up just slightly first. And I always use a paddle. Some people use a whisk, I use a paddle. And I just add everything in it. No particular way, no particular method. You just gonna dump everything in there. I got eggs in here. I got two kinds of sugar. I got granulated sugar, brown sugar. It's good about turning the thing down. I'm doubling the recipe, so. Hold on, y'all. Let me scrape down this sugar on the side. I got my uh, paddle with the with the scraping attachment, so I don't really have to scrape too much down the, the ingredients, y'all. Add my butter to this. Oh, I'm get a mess here, y'all. That's what happened when I do At least I got my large bowl. If I didn't have my large bowl, I'd have a bigger mess. I don't know, I hate making messes. Okay, that was the butter. Put the vanilla in here. The aromatics, cinnamon and nutmeg. I'm gonna scrape this down again. Secret ingredient here, butterscotch. And I ain't gonna put a lot, y'all. You know it's sweet, but it's just gonna give it an extra kick of flavor. I'm scraping it down again. Y'all see how smooth this batter is getting. It's gonna be even smoother here in a second. Now, I'm going to add a little carnation milk, not a lot. I should, I'm supposed to add two cans, but I'm not. 
really one can per pie, meaning I should add two cans, but I'm not because you can see how loose the mixture is. So I don't need to add both cans. This just gonna make it richer, y'all. That's the only thing I don't like about using a bowl scraper, y'all. It makes everything. If I didn't have a bowl scraper on here, it wouldn't find something in my face like this. All right, I'm gonna add the rest of this to this. Mix it up one more minute here, y'all, and it'll be ready to go. Now I got my pie crust. Y'all know I par bake my crust like five minutes just to give it a barrier. I like to give a barrier between the between the, the sweet potato mix and the pie crust so that your pie don't be soggy. So we're going to scrape this down, make sure it's all mixed up. Good, I am in measuring, y'all. See how much I'm gonna have left over here. There we go. I got a little left, not much. Okay, 350 degrees, y'all, in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. We're gonna have some awesome sweet potato pie. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, sweet potato pie just come out the oven. See this, y'all? Nice, perfectly golden brown. The crust is perfect. And why I like to par bake my crust just slightly because sometimes if you don't par bake it, the sweet potato pie will be ready before the crust. So see how firm they firm? Got a little jiggle. That's what you want. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let them set cool by about an hour, an hour and a half. It's gonna take to cool them all. We're gonna come back. Have a slice. Don't get no better than sweet potato pie, especially with the butterscotch in it, y'all. Y'all already know. Y'all tried my sweet potato pie before, so yeah. So how good is that? So anyway, y'all, we'll be back in about an hour and a half. Cut a piece and we'll try it out. Friday night pie of the week. Be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Look at this, y'all. I've been waiting on this. It's exactly cool. I let it cool about almost three hours, y'all. And like I told y'all, make sweet potato pie all the time. I never thought to put butterscotch in it to take it to the next level like I do my candy sweet potato. Y'all seen that? That's the secret ingredient. Let's check this out, y'all. You know it's already smooth. See that? Mm. Wow. Takes the next level, y'all. You know, I eat sweet potato pie like nothing. I will sit here and eat the whole pie. The butterscotch, you can taste just a hint of it. The thing is, it takes the sweet potatoes to another level, y'all. Crush, you know, it's already flaky. Smooth. Hang around. Who doesn't like sweet potato pie if you're from the South? Mm. Wow. Friday night pile of the week, y'all. One more bite, and I'm gonna close this video. Can't go wrong. That one there going around the corner. This one, I pretty much devour it all by. But anyway, y'all, close the video. No cake this week. It's all about pie. But it's a butterscotch sweet potato pie. So anyway, y'all, if you like this video. Please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. And the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.